agricultural news from agview.net. Results have been released from a survey of nearly 32,000 Americans focused on the acceptance of alternative proteins among consumers. The study revealed fewer than 3 in 10 believe that fake meat products are comparable to real meat. Among those that have tried fake meat, mostly millennials and 53% did so out of curiosity. Only 12% say they eat it quite often. The data also showed fewer than one in three consumers considers alternative meat products to be healthy and environmentally friendly. Now, in addition, about half of those surveyed believe that alternative meats are highly processed and can't beat what real meat brings to the table. Now, opinions did vary based on age. 52% of baby boomers say they have no interest in trying these products. About 16% of millennials say they eat the products regularly, and a quarter of those indicate they do so for environmental reasons. Well, U.S. net cash farm income, which is the total income after expenses, is forecast to decrease $13.1 billion to $109.6 billion in 2020 when adjusted for inflation. That drop is almost 11 percent compared to the previous year. U.S. net farm income is a broader measure of profitability. See, it incorporates non-cash items like economic depreciation and gross inputted rental income. And it forecast to increase by $1.4 billion to $96.7 billion this year. Now that is a 1.4% jump over 2019. USDA says if the forecast changes are accurate, net cash farm income for 2020 would be 0.6% below the inflation adjusted average calculated through 2000 through 2018. Net farm income would be 5.4% above the average during that same time frame. Now, the two income measures will diverge this year because of how net sales from inventories are treated. Net cash farm income records records the income in the year that sale took place. Net farm income counts it in the year of production occurred. For example, high net sales of $14.9 billion from crop inventories forecasted in 2019 expected to boost the net cash farm income significantly that year. But very low net sales from inventories, about a half a billion dollars in 2020, expected to contribute to a decrease in net cash farm income between those two years. And with a plateau in the U.S. cattle numbers and strong beef demand ahead, Cattle Facts is saying prices are likely to be stronger in the year ahead as consumers at home and abroad support industry profitability. Now that's one of the big takeaways from a recent Cattle Facts Outlook session. Kevin Good, Cattle Facts Vice President of Industry Relation and an Analysis, it says a trade will play a significant role in the beef and cattle market. He expects a higher total animal protein production to be offset by strong demand and increasing exports. He says with strong demand for U.S. beef at home and rising demand overseas, the modest increases in supply will be more than offset by growing consumer appetite for our products. Now, Cattlefax is projected composite cutout prices to rise $3 in the upcoming year to reach $222 a hundred. Good also says that Cattlefax is projecting fed steer prices to average $120 a hundred during 2020. That's an increase of $3 from the previous year. Calf prices is also expected to move higher in the year ahead. Cattlefax CEO Randy Block predicts a lot less volatility in the market in 2020 than compared to last year as well. Stay with us. We'll have more coming up.